your then let me put my foot down because you know I'm home and all but you know I want to have some manners it's your girl P and today we're going to be doing a entryway makeover I'm also going to be giving y'all tips to creating a vibe in the entryway in a bookcase this is something that I've wanted to do for a minute. I have a entryway with two doors, one of them which I don't use. I want to do the most. Cause right here, there's nothing wrong with this, but I'm, I'm extra. I want to work my entryway to its highest potential. About to finesse a bookshelf and not just any bookshelf but Billy from Ikea not sponsored yet but I will be one day what I'm going to do is put Billy on wheels and insert Billy inside of whoa that don't sound I'm gonna put the bookcase in front of one of the doors that I don't use but I'm still going to put wheels on it because you know, it's a fire hazard. So we conscious out here. You heard? <laughs> Let's get started. Some word of advice. Don't do this by yourself because I almost broke my back. Step one is to unscrew the bolts at the bottom of the bookcase. And so we have to remove this little flap right here because we're gonna cut off the excess wood. Put the bolts back into the bookcase and move on to measuring so that we can cut the excess wood. We're gonna use the same tab that we took off to measure and mark with a pencil where we're going to be cutting. the bottom of the bookcase this is where we're going to be adding the wheels but let's not forget about the other side we gonna add wheels so that if knock on wood there's an emergency we could roll that out the way I now don't have to look at a door that I don't use win win like I'm gonna add a mirrored closet door that I had in my previous room, but I don't no longer have that closet, so why not use this mirror door as a mirror? Nobody gotta know it was a door. Who you gonna tell somebody? Maybe not. You not no snitch. Coronavirus. We can't shop. So tip number one: when you typically think of plants you would think that plants are either artificial or they're live. What about dried plants? So I've introduced pompous grass in the corner, right in front of the mirror. Mirror, 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 mirror. In at number two, shop around your house like i borrow decorations from my room that i then put in my living room or even in the bathroom for example you can use baskets boxes you like boxes right here believe it or not these is my wig boxes tip number three i use my yearbooks i have a yearbook from middle school 
high school and undergrad. And so now when I have visitors, I can only show them how embarrassing they look. <laughs> Tip number four. Hello, it's a bookcase. Add some books. Duh. Tip number five. Now let's talk about collectibles. So for me, I am a luxury bag collector. I love luxury bags. I also love sneakers, so I decided to add both. Number six. So you want to really play with the visual interests and aesthetics of your shelf. Think about placement. Pair things in odd numbers. So three, five, seven. These things will help look more cohesive and not just like, here's a bookshelf and I just put random shit on it. Do you get what I'm saying? Stop. I'm gonna stop this shit right here. I don't want none of y'all to be like, oh, but P said no. He didn't say nothing. All P said was fish tanks are heavy. So you want to make sure that you place all of the heavier items at the bottom. shouldn't leave your house either that ass that ass that ass i'm serious this was my favorite let me know what you think like comment and subscribe and i'ma see ya peace